Either Cobblepot drugged Montoya himself, or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found at the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone got off easy by getting killed. He deserved much worse. Whoever did this was judge, jury, and executioner. No one should act as all three. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? Practically family, he said. Family? Funny, I don't recall any Sunday dinners with the mob. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but... Dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. With this drug, they can exploit anyone's baser impulses. The things they would otherwise control. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Thank you. 
Check out this office. your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. Oh, come on. Don't give me that look. We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Impaling a man on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. Here! <laughs> <laughs> Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away.
Bruce Wayne. You really think he'd show up here? Did you hear? You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a woman. <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. Selena Kyle, I'm told she practically lives here. <laughs> Selena, huh? You don't strike me as her type. You'd be surprised. Hey, don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. Cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. <sighs> Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. Well, I've met a couple of his goons myself. Your client isn't one for subtlety. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh. You've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. You don't know what you're getting into. I can take him. I appreciate confidence in a man, but not stupidity. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? Oswald wanted Falcone out of the picture. Looks like he succeeded. So what? He wants to take his place? Maybe. For starters. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. Bruce? Sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. Ah! <laughs> 
think they want more. Then let's give it to them. Pretty good for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way. We should go. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Just... Stay out of trouble. <laughs> now where's the fun in that? You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Uh, processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. What else is on there? It looks like they were in contact many times. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice... The whole world was horrified at what Batman did to Falcone. You terrorized the mayor, too. You could lose Gotham's goodwill completely. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Going as Batman is the sure bet. 